welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to be really transparent with you and say, uh, first of all, my apologies for not producing a lot of shows over the last few weeks. Um, I've been going through a, I've been taking myself through uh, a personal upgrade and on every level. So I decided uh, mid-August, I was, I had just wrapped up some projects in Canada and I had made a decision that I was going to reinvent every aspect of my being, my life, my business, um, and create new realities. I felt like it was time, you know, it's what I teach. It's what I, I coach on, it's what I speak on, it's what I bring into every strategy session that I do with companies and, and I'm doing it for myself and my, and my own company all the time and my team and yet I felt like there was more, there was, there was a greater me that was seeking to come forth and it was just a matter of giving myself permission to take I won't say those final steps, um, but maybe I would I would frame it as saying those first steps in a process that has been unfolding for me all of my life. And uh, I won't go into my story today, but I will say this about my backstory, if you will. The reason I'm in coaching as a profession and a business, the reason I help companies grow is because of my background. And so the turning point for me years ago was when I stopped looking at my background as being some sort of a deficit or a negative that if I just wouldn't have gone through that, I would be in a better place today. And I realized many, many years ago that it was because I went through everything I did that I was I'm actually able to be the person that I am and have the business I have to help the people I do and frankly to travel the globe doing it and live this phenomenal laptop lifestyle. I I decided uh, about 15 years ago I was going to turn this into a global movement and so that's been my focus, it's been my pleasure, it's been my inspiration, it's been my enthusiasm and everywhere that I go on the planet and I'm able to help people thrive and get them back in touch with their greatness is really, to me that's the gift of my life. It's it's the reason that I get out of bed every day and do what I do. So with that all said, as we move into this next decade, to me it's massive. And I keep saying this to people because I, for some reason no one's really that excited about it. And I just think it's, you know, it's the absolute best thing that could possibly happen to all of us. We're closing out so many cycles right now. We're closing out so many belief systems that just have been hanging on by a thread that really didn't have any relevance for most of us anymore. But just out of, I don't know, maybe just sheer stubbornness or patterns of thinking, um, they've been sort of hanging on or maybe we've been hanging on to them. and. And so this has been the, the personal upgrade that I've been taking myself through. And uh, during that process, I, I really wasn't feeling like being in front of the camera, to just be honest with you. Um, I hadn't integrated enough yet of this new upgrade um, to be able to articulate it in a smooth enough fashion that would have been, uh, I felt, pretty hard on on my um, demands of how things need to turn out. I was going to say I'm a perfectionist, but 
I don't think I am anymore. I think if I were, I still wouldn't be recording this. I'd, I'd probably wait another month. But in any event, um, it just wasn't the right time for me. And so now it is. And I have so many wonderful things, so much new um, awareness that I am here to share with you that in some small or large fashion, if, if and when it enables you to get on your own upgrade process and really take ownership of how phenomenal you are and your power and your greatness and just insist on holding true to that regardless what the external circumstances look like and continuing to put one foot in front of the other and to create the desired outcomes that you want bigger and bigger and greater and greater and more and more fulfilling then this is the right time to start so with that said 2020 the 20s a lot of cycles have ended and as just like you know when you have a flu bug or a cold by the time the sim symptoms actually show up and you're able to like identify it as a cold or a flu bug or whatever they're actually on their way out of the body and they're exiting and so whatever symptoms you still keep sort of see sort of holding on any threads of energy of the old that you see kind of stuck a little bit still just know that uh they're already they've already exited and it's now it's just a matter of you know like like when a tree sheds its leaves you know they might still be hanging from the branches brown but they're done you know what i'm saying so um as we move into this new era it is quite literally a brand new energy that's been downloading and that has been really good timing for me i think i i sensed it and i made a decision to ride that wave so i decided to quit drinking alcohol and um <laughs> You know, it's interesting because alcohol converts to sugar and then there's all of the foods that have sugar and that whole addictive part of not being able to run your brain without it. I mean, that was a, that was a really big shift. I've done it before. It wasn't the first time, um, but this time it was different and that's about the best way that I can put it because I can tell you that uh, at the end of September I had an opportunity um, I was in the south of France and I had the opportunity to drink some really amazing champagne and I just didn't really care which uh, was a really great indication for me that I had turned the corner on releasing it from my system and my body was starting to change and the puffiness was leaving and and you know any sort of inflammation that had been going on in my mind my brain my body my joints was basically dissolving and I, I wasn't even trying you know I just had made one simple decision and that was to cut out alcohol so um, a lot has unfolded since that time and um, my diets changed how my brain fires has shifted. Um, I am more deeply in touch with my capacity for creating through thought than I ever have been in my life. And the awareness of the neuroscience aspect of how my brain um, and systems are firing and communicating with one another is super heightened. One of the things that I can share with you that I've noticed is a really good um, way of just kind of measuring all of this is I see more colors. I see more colors. I see more vivid colors. I see colors that weren't there before. <laughs> well, they were always there. I just couldn't see them. I have these really interesting storage boxes 
that have uh, black and white patterning on them. And I've had them for months, longer, maybe a year. And just recently I looked at them and saw all this blue design in them that at first when I started noticing it, it was like this hazy sort of faded background color. And then as I allowed myself to open up to the receiving of my awareness of the depth of what was available to me in that patterning, the blue just became more and more vivid. So I'm having some really interesting experiences like that. It's actually, that's a really good metaphor for how I'm seeing other aspects of life too how I'm able to cut through a lot of the inertia and help my clients be able to see past any of the blocks or limitations and especially to be able to um, identify, bring to the surface any blind spots, <laughs> you know, that have been blocking them and be able to look at them and go, wow, I didn't know that was there. No wonder I couldn't get to the next level, whatever that is, you know, fitness, relationships, money, what have you. So it's, um, it's a really profound time for me. I'm really happy that I took the time and I stepped back. I was able to uh, document this entire journey that I've been experiencing this upgrade and, um, What's most profound, I would say, is being able to usher in my own upgrade. And this is really what my work is all about. This is really, truly what I want to teach you. Because my objective is that I am able to help you consistently usher in your own upgrade. So. I really believe, you know, coaches, we all, we all really serve a magnificent purpose on the planet. You know, we help people. We, I help you, you help, you help people. If you're a coach, I mean, we're helping businesses, we're helping athletes and we're really being of a huge service to the planet. And my whole value proposition is to teach you how you can do that for yourself. And that to me is the ultimate freedom for all of humanity. So my message for you today is um, that I, I invite you to really take the time and build the intention to really get to know yourself. And you know, we all think that we know ourselves. <laughs> And I can tell you from this journey that I've been through in my lifetime, that even though you think you really know yourself, you, there's still more of you to know that you are this vast being of light that is just has so much depth and so much greatness that's lying dormant in you that you, in, in most cases, like you can't even fathom how huge that is and it's a journey and not everyone chooses the journey and it's nothing wrong if you don't want to choose that journey i understand you know it's okay if you want to focus on maybe the more mundane aspects of life like the structure and the rules and the regulations and the the constructs and um the belief systems and you know again the systems that's okay because we need those too but if you want to really tap into this infinite aspect of you then it's going to require a dedication it's going to require an intention and that's got to come from a decision and nobody can make that decision for you but you and I've coached thousands and thousands and thousands of clients in the last 20 years all over the world. 
in pretty much every industry you could imagine from finance to law enforcement to brokers of luxury toys like super yachts and business jets and all sorts of things. So it has nothing to do with what you do for a living. It just really has to do with making a decision that you are going to really truly get to know you and you're going to cultivate and get in touch with that infinite side of yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, if you don't, then, then you suffer. Because as long as you think that there's somebody or something outside of you that needs to give you permission to thrive, then you suffer. Because it's the waiting game. It's the hoping game. And waiting and hoping don't bring you to higher levels of creativity and, and self-awareness. So, you know, I'm not talking about the personality stuff, like what kind of wine you like to drink or where you like to live or where you like to have dinner, or what kind of food you like, <laughs> um, or what your favorite sport is. I'm, I'm talking about what really makes you tick inside, you know, what's in your heart, what, what aspect of you are you mastering? Are you bringing forth that mastery into how you live your life and the choices, the choices that you make every single day? Especially, you know, when you're sitting here at your desk and something isn't working, you have a choice. You can throw your hands in the air and feel like a victim or you can decide, no, that is not the case. I refuse to acknowledge that. And what is right about this? What is great about this? And I'm, I'm morphing and I'm, I'm, you know, this is alchemy. I'm turning this into the desired outcome that I'm seeking, that honors me, that propels me forward. So that's, you know, that's really it. Um, so I, I'm talking about, you know, really knowing yourself, really asking your inner being, getting into, you know, your third eye, like the, the visionary part of yourself to really reveal to you because you have a right to know, you have a right to know what's in here that is at a capacity that's greater than the degree on your wall, the car in your parking spot, the label on your clothes, you have a right to know. And that's what this next decade is about. Because as much as, and, and, and I really encourage you to continue to build wealth and enjoy all the luxurious material things that the planet has to offer, because it's not an either or, it's an and. It's about really truly coming into alignment with you and then using and, and um, having that alignment be the creator that brings to you and draws to you the people, the experiences, the material enjoyment, um, the life, you know, I call it living a high performance life. And that's what my work is about. And that's why I've been MIA. Um, Cause there was this, I just felt like as much as I was using all these tools, there was still like this aspect of myself. I was dancing around. If you understand what I'm saying, I was dancing around this part of me that really was crying out to be embraced and connected to. And so with that, everything has changed for me um, because I've changed for me. So that's where we're at at this point in time. And um, I'm absolutely thrilled to just be able to be this vulnerable and transparent with you and will continue to um, bring these tools to you 
on a re more regular and consistent basis so you can start implementing them into every area of your life. And of course, um, feel free to subscribe and like and share and um, know that I've got a couple classes that are launching in the new year. Uh, one's an online course. You can find that on my website, which is neimind.com. And I have a boot camp in March for those of you wanting to scale your business. And I got loads of other goodies and speaking engagements all over the planet that um, are going to be added to that calendar. So thank you so much for being a part of my life and being a part of my world and sharing this with everyone that you know so that we can all come together, bring our energy together, bring our focus together, bring our intention together and build each other up and take each other into this next year and this grand infinite possibilities new decade so many blessings to you and i will see you soon have a fantastic day Mwah. ciao